Good morning. Welcome. This is the Green Valley Parkinson's Support Group Exercise Class. And if you're joining us for the first time, you're going to need a straight back chair, one without arms, a tennis ball, a pair of light hand weights, and a larger ball. And it's another beautiful day in Green Valley. And if you live here and you use this on a regular basis, um, it basically takes a village to bring this together. It takes the board that we have here, and it takes a very talented Kurt and his wife Nancy. So thank them if you happen to see them out and about, all right? So we're gonna get started. We've got a little jazz music. You'd like to hear it? Okay. All right. So we're going to start forward in the chair with our feet flat on the floor. Make sure that you've got space between you and someone <laughs> and something. So um, sitting tall in the chair, your feet about hip width apart, and really nice and tall. Take a deep breath through your nose. Hold it and let it out slowly through pursed lips. Inhale. Exhale. Drop the chin to the chest. You want to relax the shoulders. And then lift the head toward the ceiling. The mouth opens slightly. Again, that neutral position. Turn. Drop the chin. Nod the head. Good. And then to the other side. Chin drops and the head nods. Good. And then looking forward, drop the ear to the shoulder. And to the other side. Center and down. For a slow head circle. Oh, yeah. And change the direction. Make sure that you're still sitting tall in the chair as you drop the head forward and up toward the ceiling. The mouth opens. And again, focus forward. Roll the shoulders. Good. And then change the direction. And then lift them up and down and up and down. Two more. And last one. Good. You should have some space between you and the back of the chair. Extend the arms. Relax the shoulders. Move the fingers. Yeah. Like you were the one playing the piano. And then extend the fingers out, tapping finger to thumb. Perfect. And then extend those fingers out and scratch. Two, three, four, one more, five. Now make a really strong fist and out. Two, two squeeze it hard. Three, <laughs> four, one more. Squeeze it, hold. Two, three, four, five. The shoulders relax, the fingers out for a wrist roll. Thank you. Two, three, four, five. And the other way, five. Four, three, two, one, and there. And it's such a beautiful day here. We're going to take a swim. So a breaststroke as you come forward in that chair. Nice technique. Good. One more. And that turns into freestyle twisting. Yeah. <laughs> and then arms. Back and overhead, the hands together, round the back, and it's a high dive. Down as far as you can. Good. And up. Again. <laughs> Swimming. <laughs> you splashed me. Again. Dive into it. And one more. Round the back, tuck the chin all the way down. Great job. All right, those hands are here for a side bend. All right, good. And there. 
And sitting tall, we're going to cross the arms and twist. And to the other side and twist. Perfect. Bring it back to center. Drop the arms to the side. If you need the chair to help balance you, hold on. But otherwise, they're just there. We're going to do some knee lifts. It's up and up. Kind of like marching in place. Yes. Up. Two more on each side. Up and up. And last one there. Good. And then extend one leg out, still sitting tall in the chair. We're going to lift it up, flex it, and lift it and circle. Two, three, four, five. Let's go the other way. Five, four, three, two, one. And that foot comes right back to that position. Extend it out, flex it, toes up, lift it, and circle. Two, three. I think I'll turn four, that down in a second. <laughs> Reverse it. Five, four, three, two, one and back to this position. And we're going to reach down and grab those weights. Good. A warm up is just exactly what that is, just to warm up and loosen up. So grab those light hand weights. We're going to start with a bicep curl. So the fingers are wrapped, the elbows tucked, and sitting tall in the chair, lift them. They're going to both curl to the shoulder and down. Help me count. Two. Thank you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And between the sets, stretch it out, stretch it out. Yeah, wiggle the fingers around a little bit. And then that second set starts the same way. Lift it up and curl. One, two, two three, four. Five, thank you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And placed on the floor underneath your chair. And we're going to bring that into a closed position again. The feet and the knees with space behind you, about that much. All right, you're sitting tall, arms crossed, and the legs again extended. Lift them up. We're going to flex, point, flex, and point. Three, Four, five, six. I think he's done it before. Eight, nine, ten. Toes together, heels out, in, out, in. Three, four, five. Heels touch, toes out. Stretch it as far as you can. Three, four, perfect. Five. And they come back to this position, uncross the arms, separate the feet, and we're going to just need one this time. One weight in one hand. The fingers wrapped and straight up. Drop it gently to the back of the head. Support it with the other hand if it needs it. You want to get that elbow pointing upward. And then extend and down. I pulled my hair out. Ouch. <laughs> Three, four, Five, good, six, seven, eight, feel it right there, nine, beautiful, ten, and down. And then breathe, exhale, same hand, slightly modified, straight up, it's going to go directly over the head and hit center and down, perfect, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, you should feel it right there. Nine, ten. Great job. Let's place it in the other hand. So your feet still about shoulder width apart. Bring it to the shoulder, extend it, drop it gently to the back, support it if it needs it, and it's up down. Two, good. Three, working on flexibility. Five, good. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and again, take a break. All right, last one. To the shoulder, straight up, drop it over the head. And remember, don't go beyond the shoulder. Two, three, four, five, stop. So perfect. That's exactly where it should be. Yeah. And then bring it back. Seven, 
eight. Gotcha. <laughs> nine, <laughs> ten, and down. All right. And underneath the chair. We're going to come forward in the seat a couple more inches, taking more of that uh, leg off of the seat and extending one leg out all the way. Still shoulders over hips. The arms are extended, fingers spread apart. Twist and reach for that foot with the same arm as leg. So it's here, looking down at that foot while the other arm is reaching up and behind you for the ceiling. Nice, Kurt and then come up. Now it's opposite arm to leg. Reach and hold, still focus on that foot. Four, five, beautiful, and come up. The arms drop, the leg comes in, the other extends, sitting tall, same arm as leg, reach for it. From the hip and hold, two, two three, three, four, Five, great job, all the way up. Opposite, reach and hold. Two, three, four, five, and come up. The arms drop and, and those feet come back to a starting position and um, we're gonna sit tall in the chair, engaging the core, the hand is here. Spread the fingers of the other and we're gonna reach diagonally across and just as high as you can, but try to stay seated on that chair. Good, and then to the other side, reach up. Reaching and stretching between those ribs. And now this arrow shoots straight across. Nice job, and then stretch it. And then diagonally down to the opposite foot, the palm of your hand facing outward with the fingers spread apart. So stretch it, great. And again, side stretch and side stretch. That last time, up, and reach for it. Beautiful, and back down to that position. Take a deep breath if you have some water. Always have some water by you. Um, mine's up there, but yeah. <laughs> Always have some water. Stay hydrated. All right, the next one is, um, is going to be serving trays, everyone's favorite. All right, and by the way, hi, Steve and Nancy. I saw you on a walk yesterday. It's good to see you. So reach down and grab your hand weights. We'll need one in each hand, and those arms are dropped to the side. Again, sit tall. Think of getting all the wrinkles out of your shirt. Looking forward, those arms extend. They, they rotate like you're holding a tray of cookies. Ooh, that sounds even better. Thank you. Yes. Anything lobster. All right. Three. And down. Good job. Four. Hold that tray. <laughs> Five. Keep going. Six. The arms rotate. Seven. Eight. To the outside of the chair. Nine. Yes, 10, great job. And take a break between those two sets. Two sets, yeah, two sets. Two sets of 10 reps. So shake it out, stretch it out. Again, find that position, drop the arms to the side, look forward as you extend the arms, hold it, bring it back, great job. Two, help me count, three, <laughs> four, Five, six, I'm feeling it, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Super job. We're done with those. So we're going to put them on the floor and we're going to turn in our chair, sitting at a diagonal. We've got that front chair leg in between your feet. Um, the hand that's close to the back of the chair, hold on to the frame of your chair, extending the outside leg. Try to straighten it out from hip to toe while the outside arm reaches just as far as you can. Spread the fingers and pretend to grab a rope and then pull it towards you. Rounding the back, the chin tucked, the hand a fist. Nice job. Again, reach it. Reach. Grab and curl, working the spine, tucking the chin to the chest, and slowly come up. Good. Same thing on this side. Are smiles optional? 
Uh, smiles are always optional at this point. Yes. <laughs> the feet straddling that chair leg. Hold on <laughs> and stretch it out. Reach for it. Reach for it. Gra grab it. Pull it back in. Nice. And again, stretch. Grab and pull. Beautiful. And come up. And we're going to back into this chair. So when you come back into the chair, hopefully, Kurt, this will work. Got this much space behind you. I could lean back quite a bit and still not touch the back of the chair. So we want to practice good posture and strengthening the core. So try not to touch it if, if you don't have to. So we're sitting forward in the chair. The arms are out. The shoulders are down. And the hands are down, they're just there, yeah. And then flex, like stop. Three, four, one more, five. Now make a fist and drop it and stretch it. Two, three, four, good, five. The fingers out, arms closed. Rotate them and lock together, the shoulders are down. Extend the arms overhead. Don't be within your range of motion, be careful. Push it down and down. Sitting just as tall as you can. Push it down, good. And one more. Push, yes. And then come halfway down so we can place the other hand on top. Lock the fingers in and stretch. The hardest part is putting the fingers together. All right, and stretch. And we've got that last one. Pull it back, beautiful. And all the way down and apart, extending one, placing that hand on the opposite shoulder, this hand on the elbow, press. Yeah, like you're gonna wrap that around your neck. Yeah, good job. And then the other one. Place it, place it, and push back. And push back, good job. Yeah. Take a break. Make sure that you're not using the back for support, but sitting tall. Those arms are out, shoulders are down. Rotate them inward. Connect at the wrist, touch at the fingertips, and then stretch them back. Yeah. And touch and yeah. And touch. And one more. Ooh, scares me every time. <laughs> All, right. All right. Shake it out. We're going to extend one. Flip it. Grab it with the other hand, underneath, gently pulling them down. Good. And then up, pull them back. And then the other one, flip it. Fingers up. The next one, my least favorite. I don't know why, just is my least favorite. But sit tall, it's still working the hand, so thumbs up, we're gonna isolate the fingers. And then there, and there, and the whole thing, spread them out. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. How's your posture? You're still sitting tall, good? Just drape that right over your head. Looking forward, you're gonna pull it gently to the shoulder. Good. And then the other one. But looking forward, gently pull it. Yeah. Super. And the last one. There. Fingers spread apart. You're going to bring those forward of the chest. See if they connect. The hands, too. Good. And then open and stretch, pinching those shoulder blades together. And there. Two more. Push it back. Right there. And last one. Mm. Great job. All right, your feet shouldn't have moved much. They're right back into this position. We're going to place our hands on the chair for a chair lift. All right, so we don't need anything but our chair. So hold on to it. Bring some weight forward. You're going to lift yourself off that seat. Yes. And two, <laughs> three. Try to clear it. Four. Good. Five. Five more. Six, Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. You notice I only do the last half. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Great job. All right, back into this position, but we're going to walk it in. And the knees touch and the feet together. The arms are crossed with some weight forward. 
um, I'm not going to turn my chair again, but you don't want to do this. You don't want to round your back. You want to sit tall in the chair and transfer some of that upper body weight forward. So it's a flat back. Looking down at the floor, press on the outside of your feet and the knees open to the side and then bring it together and bring it up. Perfect. So transfer and stretch. Excellent. And up and again. Stretch and up. Last one. There. Good. And all the way up. Separate everything back to this position. Arms are out for toe touches. It's up and it's a slightly flexed foot. Two and up. Three and four and yes, five. Use your outdoor voice. Six and seven. Have some fun with it. Eight and nine and ten and I don't know about that. All right, great job. Reach down and grab your weights one more time. We're going to put them on our legs. So out to the very edge, the entire hand, the thumb as well, sitting softly on top. Think of your posture. Look forward as you lift this up. And we're going to hold it. Two, three, four, five. Just tap. Again, the same leg. Lift it up high and hold. Two, three, four, five. And touch again. Three, two, three, four, five. You should feel this in your hip. Four, two, like I didn't know that, four, five, and touch, last one, up, two, three, four, five, placed wide, the weight slightly to the other side, looking forward, lift this up and hold, two, three, four, five, and touch, and up, two, three, four, five, and touch, three, two, three, four, Five, touch. Four, two, we're almost there. Three, four, five. And touch, and last one. Two, three, four, five. And down, yeah, take a break. We're gonna keep those there though, so breathe. And exhale, yeah, all right. Same thing, only with an extended leg. And we're not gonna hold it, we're just gonna go up, down for 10. So straight leg. Up, down, two, good, three, four, very nice, five, six, seven, you've got it, eight, nine, ten, and down, bring it in, sit tall in the chair, extend the other one, it's a straight leg, it's up, it's down, two, three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and down. And if you have a pair of ankle weights, you might want to do that instead. That way you wouldn't have to hold on to these and maybe you would drop your arms to the side because the ankle weights would be on there without you holding them. So we're done with those. So we're going to place them on the floor underneath the chair. And if you're at home, um, we'll need that tennis ball. We're here. We've got it. So again, think of your posture. Sit tall. Your feet are wide so that you are balanced in the chair. So sit tall in the chair and roll this. Roll it between your hands. Yeah. Wake up your hands. Think of your posture as well. How are you sitting in that chair? All right. Fingers, spread them. And then stretch in between. Good. Work it in. And then both hands in between. Good. You got it. All right. Posture, sit tall. We've got that little fist, soft fist, so it has some surface. And the other one resting. Close your eyes. Try to balance it there as you make a pattern in the air. It can just be from side to side, or maybe extend it out and in. Try to keep that ball right there on that fist. And then carefully, with eyes closed, transfer it to the other hand. And draw something in. Good. 
open your eyes and transfer it from side to side. Yeah. And then close your eyes. Good job. Eyes open. That ball on the floor with the foot resting on top. Push down. Perfect. Yeah, you want to feel that. You want to kind of like hurts good, sort of. Now wake up your feet. And then the other one. Push down as you roll back and forth. This is something you could do while you're watching television. You'd have the ball beside your favorite chair and yeah, work your feet, work your hands. <laughs> A recliner. <laughs> My kind of guy. All right. Grab it. And because we don't want it rolling around, we're going to squeeze it back into the chair here. Put yours away and we're going to scoop back into the seat. Keeping your feet in that nice wide position, pull them back slightly, and, and you want to press into that chair. So all the way in and then press against it like you're squishing something. And then arch the back, the chest lifts a little bit, nice, and then press. Again, stretch and press. One more. Stretch and continue to press against the chair, but extend the legs, lift them up, and again, circle. Two, three, four, five, the other way, five, four, three, two, one. The feet, they hit the floor, they're still wide, pull them back and sit tall in the chair. Shift the weight from side to side as you walk forward in the seat, out to the very edge. The feet wide, the arms overhead, lean back, don't touch, great job, and come up, four more, reach overhead, and lean back, and three, and up, four, all right, this is it, we're going to hold it a little bit longer, reach and hold, two, three, four, Five, beautiful. All the way up. Hands that are here, the weight now forward. It's a flat back and knee. Your focus should be on the floor. As you go up on one foot, then the other, the first heel drops, then the second. It's up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Four. Last one. Five. Now, just the heels. Up, down, up, down, up. Down. You want to really lift. Good. And, and we're going to do a sit to stand. We're in a perfect position. Nose over toes. The weight shifts all the way up. Great. Bend the weight in the heel. Back to the chair, but back to the seated position. So shift and come up. Bend and come down. Shift and come up. Perfect. Two more. And last one, up and back into it. All right, time to grab the big ball. How big? About nine or 11 inches, just a nice little child's bouncy ball. Um, make sure that you've got that room behind you, your feet placed on the floor, the ball placed on your chest, and the elbows down, extend the arms. You should be looking just above the rim of that ball as you reach forward from the hip. Don't drop the arms, but reach. Reach out as far as you can. Great. And then place your head in between the arms and hold. Two, three, four, five. All the way up, arms overhead. Lean back and hold. Two, three, four, five. And up, drop it, track it to the side. That back arm pulls that front arm, good. And to the other side, back arm pulls, good. And now we're going to place it in that nice wide place right there. Hands here, the feet together. Sitting tall in the chair, squeeze it, give you a dollar if you pop it. Uh, boom, no, <laughs> not like that. So you got to squeeze it. <laughs> Exactly. And relax. One more time. Squeeze hard. Yeah, you're going to work those hips. Perfect. 
and down. And separate the feet and the ball now on the floor between them. Close in on it. Hold on to that ball. Maybe make an adjustment in the chair. We want to sit tall. And we're going to drop the arms to the side. So if you need it, use them. But otherwise, don't. They're there. Extend it out. And we're going to lift it up, down, up, down. Three, good. Four, keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And bring it in. And we're going to get out of the chair, so, and we won't be using the ball. I'm going to put mine on the seat. Everything else underneath or on the chair so it's not a trip hazard. We're going to come forward and do a sit to stand. Perfect. And it's really best if you're at home to do these on a flat surface. Um, carpet isn't the best thing. But if that's all you have, that's better than nothing. So your feet apart, um, about arm's distance from the chair. But don't focus down. You want to focus out as you shift the weight to the ball of the foot. It's up, down, up, down. Three, Three. good. Four, one more. Five, the weight shifts to the heel and the toes are up and up. Perfect. Three. Four, five, there. And now separate them. Toes out. And maybe a little closer to the chair because you've gotten a little lower. So we're going to go again, raising the heels up, down. You'll feel this in your calf. Yes. <laughs> Three, four, keep going. Five more. Six, yes. Seven, lift them high. Eight, Eight. nine, ten, and down. Keeping that nice posture, bend the knees just slightly, just a little bit, and take some of that weight to one side and hold it. Perfect. Again, your focus should be forward as you bring it back to the center and slide it on over. Yeah, good. And then here, as you straighten the legs, walk the feet in. And I think I need to come a little forward before I hit something. We're going to do some leg lifts to the back. So we're arms distance from the chair. All of this has to be over one leg, a soft knee as this straight leg extends to the back. And it's up for five. One, two, yes, three, four, one more, five. Looking forward, you're going to bend this and try to place the heel on the floor. Great job. And then come up, bring that forward. The weight transfers, the other leg extends. It's a straight leg. Standing tall, it's up. Two, three, four, last one. Five, bend, and kind of sit into that stretch. Perfect. And come up. Bringing it back to this position. I'm going to turn a little bit. I think you can still see it. We're going to do some kicks to the back. So bend the knee and kick, and kick, and two, and three, and four. Louder, last one, five. Thank you. All right. And to the side of the chair, feet again in a nice wide position. The weight, though, placed on the inside leg, the hand here, as you lift this up, up, good, two, and three, and four, about hip height. Five. Good, last one. Great job. Let me turn this down. All right, we're going to do a little balance exercises. So, standing at the side of the chair with your feet wide, shift all of that to the inside leg. So that way, if you need the chair, it's right there, right there. If you don't, arms are down. And we're going to take a split step forward. They're staggered. They're not one in front of the other, but they're here. So you've gone from this position to shifting the weight, stepping forward, and arms dropped. Use the chair if you need to. If you don't, both arms will extend out. As you extend them, stretch and bring it in. And out. And stretch it. 
two more beautiful last one there and drop it down in this position you should be centered that you could actually if you need the chair use it you could raise the heels up and down yeah you know that you're right in the middle of that now shift the weight to that back leg again hold on to the chair and slide this over I weren't wearing these long pants you might this is the split step and now we're into a semi tandem five or six inches that's exactly right right between your feet again you should be able to raise the heels up and down perfect good hold on to the chair because this is not the best position to be in extend the outside arm look bring it center Again, look over that shoulder and center. Look, bring it center, good. Look, center, last one. And drop it down. That's cold. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to the other side. Yes, it is. All right, we started in this position. How long have you been <laughs> <laughs> Was cold, all right. Shift the weight to that inside leg, a split step. They're staggered. Yeah, and you're right in the middle. Okay, use the chair if you need it. Otherwise, both arms out. And we're gonna extend, stretch, and center. Now, you don't wanna follow those arms. You wanna track something in front of you. And just keep your eye. Four, good, last one, five. And there, and they come down. Hold on to the chairs. You shift your weight to the inside leg as this slides right in front of the other one. Space between them. All right. Use the chair. The outside arm extends. You want to look. Good. And focus. Not just turning the head, but you actually want to look at something. Good. One more. Perfect and lower it and bring it back. So a lot of balance um, depends on what you hear. That's why I usually like to turn the music down a little bit. And your visibility, if it's a dimly lit room, makes a big difference. The surface of the floor, what kind of footwear you're using. Be safe about it. When you're practicing these, you know, a flat surface, um, good lighting, you know, good footwear, all those kind of things. We're gonna do some cardio right now. So when you're at home, if you feel like you want to, if something's bothering you and you can sit in the chair, you know, walk in place. Otherwise, you know, be safe and, and do something good for your heart. It's about two minutes long. If it goes any longer, we'll cut it. <laughs> so we'll see. Keep in motion and... Uh, Let's see what we have here. We don't have anything. Name that tune. Television. Water. Yes.
<laughs> Great job. Woo. Yeah. A little out of breath, I hope. Perfect. All right. Have some water if you need it. Mm-hmm. Back to the chair. Make sure you don't come back and just plop in, but practice that sit to stand. Grab a weight and your feet. Again, about hip width apart. That's space behind you. Don't worry, this is the last one. <laughs> so wrap the fingers, extend the arms overhead. It's a forward reach, it's a flat back. Then the arms drop between the feet. They extend again, and up. Nine more. Two, and up, perfect. Three, help me count. Four, that way I know you're breathing. Up, five, good. Six, up, seven, sitting tall. Eight, up. Nine, and that's the last one. Ten, there. Great job. Right. Placed on the floor for cool down. through the mouth. Again. Exhale. Again. Exhale. Drop the chin to the chest. Raise the head. Look up. Listen to the other side. Drop the chin to the chest. Slowly circle the head. Change the direction. Lower and lift. Last one forward and center. The shoulders now forward. Isolate those four positions. Lift it up. Good. Pull it back, pinching the shoulder blades together. And down and circle. Yes. The other way. Draw the perfect circle. All right. The arms are out. Palms up. They're resting on the shoulder. The elbows connect. They stretch and touch and stretch and touch. Push back. Bring it in a little bit. Unfold them. They're on a doorknob. So turn that. Shoulders, arms, rotating everything. Give yourself a big squeeze. Tuck the chin to the chest and stretch it out, oh yes. The other arm on top, give yourself a big hug. And stretch, ready? A, E, I, O, U. One more time, A, E, I, O, U. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, go out and make it a great day and we'll see you on Friday, thank you.